Hey guys, it's Austin here, and I got another video for you, and it is a review for the God of War collection on the PS Vita. And we recently did the Sly Cooper collection and the Jack and Daxter collection review. If you want to see either one of those videos, just click the top right eye icon in the video, and it'll have the Sly collection and Jack and Daxter collection. Just click whatever one you want to watch first and come back and watch it. If you want to see other reviews make sure to go into the description of this video i have a link to the playlist of nothing but my playstation vita reviews and also if you want to see more make sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications so you won't miss the next review because i do upload these weekly anyway we're just going to get right into it and talk about this collection okay so the god of war collection on the ps vita it contains God of War 1 and 2, okay? And we're, we're gonna talk more about what it contains later on. Trust me, we'll get to that. But the two games that it has, they're great. God of War 1 and 2 are really, really good games, you know? It's amazing to have them, especially on the go, when the only games we had on the go was Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus, and that was on the PSP. And it just didn't feel like God of War with the PSP controls. We finally have dual analog sticks. So it's really good, okay? And it's really, really nice to go back and play God of War 1 and 2 because some of us have never had the chance to play it or don't have the chance to go back and play it because the only other chance to go back and play it is either through PlayStation Now, and I'm not paying for that, or to buy a PS3 and buy the collection there. And it's kind of mind-boggling why you would buy a console just to play this one game, so it kind of makes sense to just be amazed that it's on Vita because this is my opportunity at least to go back and play these games because I haven't played them since the original launch on the PS2. But I will say that's where all the good things just go away. Now we're here to talk about the bad things and oh my god, God of War 1 and God of War 2 just have horrible compressed audio. The audio in both games are just, it's not like oh my god, I need to mute this right now. It's just like, it sounds muffled and it just doesn't sound as good. And God of War is known for having these awesome, awesome soundtracks and scores just that really gets you going for the boss fight. And since the audio is so muffled, the music just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't impact me the same way it did on the PS2 or on God of War 3 or God of War 3 Remastered on the PS4. And we'll get to God of War 3 later in the video, like I said. And um, it uses the original cutscenes, which I don't have a huge problem with because my favorite game, Sly Cooper, that collection uses the original cutscene. So does Ratchet and Clank. I'm pretty sure Metal Gear Solid does. All of them but Jack and Daxter does this. So I don't know why they chose to only do Jack and Daxter like that, but I don't really mind the cutscenes. But if you guys do, it's definitely in there. And I know it's a PS2 game, and it definitely looks better than the PS2, but the graphics are a little disappointing knowing that the Vita can do better. This also ties in with the audio again. I know that the audio and the graphics could definitely be better. The graphics I'm fine with, but I just expected them to be just a little bit more, okay? And before we get into the next point, we're gonna finally bring up God of War 3. It just doesn't feel like a collection of the Kratos story if you don't have the ending. That's like having uh, the Batman movies. That Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, oh, The Dark Knight Rises? No, let's just pretend that never happened. You can't have a story, a three-part story, have the beginning, the middle, and then take the end away and never do it again. Especially because God of War 2 ended on a cliffhanger. You can't be doing that. It just doesn't feel complete. It feels empty and like when you beat God of War 1, you get hyped for God of War 2. You beat God of War 2 on Vita, you say, um, wh where's the other game? Where's it at? Huh? Oh, I don't have it? Okay, fuck you too. I'm gonna turn it in now and buy a different game. So that really, really angry, angry? Aggravated me, but not too much knowing that I have it on the PS4 and I love it so much. God of War 3, you're amazing. But anyway, it should definitely be in this collection, and it's not. But now we can get on to our final, final point. And God of War 2, okay, God of War 1 actually surprisingly runs pretty smooth. And the only frame rate drops it normally gets is in sections with, like, not many enemies. And I don't know why or how that's possible, but that's just how it is. But God of War 2 mainly has the frame rate drops, and it's not much. It's very, very, like, minute, like, nothing 
happens most of the time. Very few times will you get a frame rate drop, but still for those of you guys who expect the perfect experience on handheld for some reason, I gotta put it in there, there's occasional frame rate drops. So for our final verdict, I'm gonna give it, get ready, get hyped, a 6.5. Because they're great games, okay? And like I always say in my videos, I'm not reviewing the games, I'm reviewing it being remastered. How good it was remastered or remade, not the original games, because there's plenty of reviews for the original games. And I'll just save you some time, the games are great, okay? Now the video is for the quality, and I will say the quality isn't like Black Ops Declassified quality where it's like, oh my god, what were you thinking? Some of it is like that with the God of War 3 missing and the bad audio, but some of it is like, come on man, like, I knew you could do better than this, like, come on, I'll still play it, but you can do more. But um, like I said with the review, the 6.5. If you're looking for the best remastered experience, the best place to play God of War 1 and 2, Vita is not for you. But if you're just playing it, you're buying it, just so you can play some God of War, it's it's great, just for you. It's definitely playable. It's not like, oh my god, I need to stop looking at this. Ugh. It's definitely playable. It's great games, but uh, enough rambling, I'm saying the same thing. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, Make sure to leave a like, comment down below what games on the Vita I should review next, and uh, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on post notifications, and check down below in the description for that link to the whole playlist of reviews, including Killzone Mercenary, Black Ops Declassified, the two other collection games, Jack and Daxter, and Sly Cooper. Oh god, I just like, choked on air. And we've got PlayStation All-Stars and some indie games in there, J just go look at it. You know, I'm not going to spoil everything, just go look at it, alright? Have a wonderful day and peace out.